Oh man, just when you thought your APY was was finally going to settle. Now, so basically, I'm going to keep this one really short. KIP5 um, is going to be a way for the team to get to their target of 22k APY that was set forth in KIP3. So it turns out Polygon is much more efficient, much quicker than calculated. So it's clearing a block in 2.3 seconds, which is insane, instead of 2.5 seconds, meaning our rebase period, because our rebase period is, is based on how many blocks the protocol clears, our rebase period is happening more frequently, which means that the APY is actually higher than the DAP has been showing. Um, so we've been re receiving about 60 to 70K instead of 40K, I think it said. It, it's much higher. Uh, so the idea is the rewards are going to be lowered to adjust for the increase in rebases per year to keep the APY in line with the 22K APY. So uh, the DAP will display a higher APY. It's going to display the reality of where we are instead of where we thought we were. So you should see an increase. If this passes, though, by December 14th, there will be a gradual decline in APY to the 22K. Um, so basically, this is a, a, a KIP on top of a KIP. KIP 5 to enforce KIP 3. Um, I'm in favor. If you want to watch why we're reducing APY, uh, you can take a look at my KIP 3 video. All right. Um, suck that carbon. Klima forever. Business Pepe. Let's go, baby. Oh, also check out my video on Diatom Dow if you're interested in another fork that's coming about. Um, it's similar in mission to um, Klima, so you might like that. Peace.